face. It's been a couple of days. I just haven't felt like picking up the camera. Um, so, uh, I remembered to take thumbnails, so I remembered what this is all about when I'm editing, which is really good. Um, so today uh, is a Bunnings haul and uh, some lip gloss and some mail. Um, so Bunnings, oh yeah, my light. They are so pretty. I'll put a picture in so you can see what they look like in like a little bit more dark. I've wanted lights in here for a while and I thought maybe I want ones that change colour or you can do stuff with an app or like, I don't know. But it's complicated and expensive and these are like $30 for like 14 metres of lights that just do their own thing. And I really like them um, and they're diffused lights so you're not staring directly at the globe. And they just, you know, change colours, do their own pretty things. I really like them. But that is not what I originally went in there for, of course. Um, I needed some top coats, so I have some sprays. I got the matte in the Duramax, which I'm going to use on that boxing. And um, just a clear. It's called Squirts. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Um, but hopefully it'll ah, work. Those shells are pretty much done. I'm just doing the silver on the outside of the purple and I'll need a little bit of a clear coat. I've been using this stuff. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, and this stuff, which I will also talk about in a minute and the lid's not on properly. Seems like something I would do. Um, anyway, so stuff's drying. Um, but that'll be ready for it when I'm, you know, thing. My goodness words. So um, I will have to look up whether I can use the spray paint over the water-based stuff I've been using. I don't want to go cloudy and have to start again. It's going to be a nightmare. I can just use the other stuff to do a layer on the black bits. Um, so I'm not going to pick up one of those pieces. This is sort of a test-ish piece. So that is the glitter glue like that. Um, painted on a couple of times and then that side and it's still milky because it's not dry is that and I don't know if I've ranted that I think they just sold me PVA as a glue sealer finish that would make perfect sense and uh, I'm a dumbass probably but you know hopefully everything works out okay and it doesn't stay too tacky that's my problem um I don't know it says somewhere on it that you have to wait ages for it to dry if it's really thick four weeks if it's um used as a Oh my god, what's the thing called? A textured finish, which that isn't, but it has a few coats and I'm super impatient, so it was pretty thick. So <laughs> waiting a month for that to dry seems like a good time. Um, so what was the next thing? Oh yeah, I originally went in there for that and the silver polish for um, Luna's new home. Um, I put a little layer on it last night and polished it off like just a little bit to test and it was really nice and um, I just put a layer on it before and I got some cloths and I don't know if you can tell that's the front and I haven't cleaned it yet and that's like one wipe on the back and yeah I did clean it a bit before but this is what I was hoping would happen. I really love the patina, but um, I just wanted to sort of clean it and start again. Um, and then it can get its own patina over time from being with us. Uh, so this needs a lot more work than I can be bothered doing right now. Just quickly, if I get that first, oh my gosh, surface layer off this. Ooh. Oh, it feels like lightning in its tendon. I'm gonna put lots of pressure on that hand, so <laughs> I should be very much more gentle. But that is coming up very nicely, and hopefully, it doesn't take too long to come up. But the hero, that's beautiful, nice and shiny. So, I ended up with the other spray finish. I wasn't gonna get a gloss um, spray thing. Um, but I decided it might be like just the most brilliant idea to use nail polish on this and I heaped it on and like didn't spread it around heaps but made it all bleed which I guess is appropriate but I was not thinking that like the alcohol in the um, 
permanent marker and like the nail polish would react. So that's kind of interesting. It kind of makes it look a bit blurry and I'm a little bit pissed. But what do you do? Like, I don't want to go over it again, but it might be an option. I'm going to put it to one side for a while and have a think. It just really annoyed me. I'm like, okay, it's good enough. I've done all the touch-ups and all right, it's time for a clear coat. But I should imagine that the other um, spray varnish stuff, like probably smells chemically, would react with that too. So I probably couldn't win, huh? I didn't think about that. Okay, well, you know, it's there for future projects. I like painting stuff, it's a bit therapeutic. So we'll see how it turns out. And um, this glitter glue is like not that expensive, but like, when you pile it on really thick, it glows still. Like it's not the most even glow, but it glows. So pretty excited about that. Um, what else have I been doing? Oh uh, yeah, so I don't know uh, anyone else. <laughs> in my real life there's people on the internet that are lip gloss addicts and I'm one of them I don't really know why um, I think I talked about this not too long ago who knows this is my favorite uh, lip gloss of all time and apparently they have discontinued it again so I went on a bit of a mission I know I love this one but I haven't had it for ages I'm so sad if they've discontinued that again it was like just the bane of my existence and not having that in my life so I'm super sad and they better like make lip smackers good again because I freaking love them um this is blackberry shine and I got it on my nose just in case I didn't tell you that and it smells freaking awesome and it's a really nice like subtle color too like not quite within the lines but I really love that and tastes good too I don't want to waste it but I do have another one I haven't had a tinted Burt's Bees, so uh, it might be good, it might not be. I could open it like a normal human being, but that seems like too much effort. This is a Sweet Violet Tinted Lip Balm. I didn't know if they all had different smells, or they all smell the same, but I'm assuming that violet is a colour, but I also like violet, so there's a double chance that I like it. Oh. It smells... I don't know, natural, it's probably <laughs> Burt's Bees, it's got honey, so, you know, waxy and sweet. It's a little bit lighter than I'd normally choose, but like, that's okay. And it is pink, but it has purple in it, so I think it's a pretty colour. Alright, um, oh yeah, I got nail polish too, um, because I needed more, I used like half a bottle on that. And I don't know if this stuff's any good, but it was at the counter at Priceline for like five dollars. Um, those other lip glosses were on sale, not that expensive. I think I ended up spending fifteen-ish dollars. Don't quote me on that though. Uh, Bunnings was about fifty, <laughs> but those lights were like thirty dollars, so I think that's okay. Um, what else? Oh yeah, packages. Uh, I need somewhere safe to put this mirror. Alright, down there. Um, I still haven't got my phone cover and I ordered the wrong like glass protector thing for my phone, so that's cool. So I still haven't set it up properly or used it properly, but I did take, oh, the picture at the start of this. Like, I took that on that phone and I thought it looked good, but I haven't put it on the, like, laptop, so I don't really know. Um, this. Now, I'm a little unsure. There's like a little hard bit in there with like lots of squishy and I swear I ordered like a phone case and glass and um, this is, well, do I have my phone? There we go. Another one of these because it's really helpful for me. Um, and something else, a ring. But this does not feel like a freaking ring. There is no way that could be the ring that I ordered. And I don't think I ordered anything else. So I'm really confused. Um, I guess I'll save that one to last. You can see one, another one of these because it's super exciting. They're only a couple of dollars. Oh, and I think it's one of the best inventions ever. It's got a sticky thing on the back. I don't want to take it out because I'm going to lose it. Um, and the elastic. And I don't know. Maybe you don't care. Maybe you do. Um, but the rings sometimes, like, they bend and stuff. But, like, this just sticks to your hand. And... It's a really really good time oh and those rings sometimes you have to like spin them around reposition them like wherever you want to hold and that's just like I don't know you can hold on it hold on it hold on to it heaps like words 
hold on to it in different ways like different fingers or like shove like a whole hand in there it probably didn't sound good but it's a good time that also probably didn't sound good um so last but not least i guess is this guy um i haven't worked today or yesterday like sorry i'm trying to catch you up um and i really haven't done much i finished stray and cried and got more trophies and cried and painting um, I think I'm gonna do like try and finish that gel cupcake thing tonight too and that should get a lot of this painting out of the way so I can start like the other wooden things in there wherever they are um, and work and crying I don't know I just it doesn't get better I just it's bad but <laughs> I want a kitten I just I'm not in the right uh, frame of health or mind or you know, I just put fairy lights up. It's going to be interesting to like go around this house and think like a kitten and kitten proof it. But like, apart from all of that, I'm just sad and lonely. And it's not right to want to fill that void with another person, being. I don't know. Um, but that's just what I want. I'm just so freaking sad. I want distraction. So I've been trying to distract myself the best way I can, but I'm still procrastinating at like, you know, editing or cleaning the bathroom or, you know, life stuff. Taking a shower. Oh, I did wash and straighten my hair and I put mascara on today. Um, this is the Revlon one. Why does that look so weird? If I look like this the whole time, that eye looks much darker. Maybe I put one too many coats on one side. Um, okay. I think you're all caught up. Oh, I need to put a coat on this ring because it's already starting to come off because Dura was like $10. Actually, it's probably more. But anyway, they only paid like a dollar for it. Um, so I was going to use like a little bit of steel wool um, and just make it, you know, a surface <laughs> ready for some gel, I think, and then a layer of nail polish because I know the nail polish like doesn't last too long on rings. I've tried that before. I thought maybe like the right prep layer of gel and a layer of nail polish should be good. All right, <sighs> mystery package. Whoa. Oh, that was like one of those good slices that just slides. What did I order that I messed up? Oh, it is a ring. It really didn't feel like it. Oh, cool. And I got a size 11. I can't even remember. I'm pretty sure. I got that in the 11 and like that was a 10 because it's like I don't know thinner bands and stuff but that was chunky and I was like we'll get an 11 and one day I think I should order like a 13 or something for like <laughs> the finger <laughs> but apparently I did not think about it with this oh my god this barely looks like the picture I'm gonna put the picture up it's my bad because this was like <laughs> six dollars so um yeah, not quite like the picture, but look, pretty. And like, the other one in the picture would have been like, you know, hundreds of dollars. Probably, if I think about it properly. So like, kind of close. Um, which finger? Oh, maybe that one? Alright, I kind of like the green. It was a little different. And, does it fit on that one? Yeah, or maybe I can wear all of them. I don't know why I need this many rings, but they're pretty. And I really want to, there's um, an Etsy seller that makes really pretty, um, oh my gosh, they're from Turkey and they make silver, mostly silver rings, um, all different stones, but there's a, oh my God, brains, Mystic Topaz. Um, I've been looking at their rings on their shop. I'm like, you'll have a seller I'm gonna buy from eventually. I think I've picked one, um, and it's on sale. I'm like, I could spend $100 and have that ring. But $100 is really a lot of money right now. And I know saying that, that I've bought other crap. But, like, this all in total, like, wouldn't have been $100. I'm trying to think. No, it was, like, $50 at Bunnings. And then what did I say? Like, $15 at Priceline. Mm, yeah, that was, like, $7. And that other thing was, like under three so yeah like I can get a lot more things that like I don't need these things 
for a lot more for my money than that. Like at the moment, I'm just going cheap. But when I want to spend money and get something quality, like such a pretty ring. So I think that's it. It's time to make a cup of tea, take my afternoon medication and I don't know, clean up a little bit. I've got to take bins out, it's bin day. And cry whilst doing that. I'm surprised I haven't cried already. Um, I don't know, I still kind of feel a bit numb. My partner got this really cute book made from, I want to say Snapfish, but I could be wrong. Um, and he's like, oh, I tried to pick the best photos. I'm like, any photo is the best photo. So, like, it was freaking awesome. So, I, that made me cry for a good half an hour. Uh, and amongst my other bouts of crying whilst doing things. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know if this gets better. I know people who say, like, okay, so my partner and I were talking about this. People that are like, oh, it was just a cat. Or it was just a dog. I haven't had that relationship and or breeds are all very different and the way they were like brought up and the environment they were like brought into and stuff like just makes such a difference so people that haven't had whatever combination of that equals a really deep bond with your pet like it just seems i don't know not the right word non-human best friend I don't know. I'll think of a term one day. Um, if they haven't experienced that, I just, one, pity them, but two, I can't take any of what they're saying seriously because it's like saying, um, I don't know, like, I don't like ice cream, but you've never had ice cream, but you've had frozen yogurt. And you're like, yeah, but it's just, it's similar, but it's just not the same at all. And you just can't convince them otherwise. So... I, um, you know, sometimes we feel a bit silly for being this sad, but ultimately, like, to have any kind of relationship that you grieve that much is, like, it's nice to have that in your life or have had that in your life and, I don't know, I'm trying to be positive and look towards the future because I'm just, like, a really sad potato um but like an artistic potato and like now i've got pretty lights that really does like help so i don't know tonight i'm gonna try and paint my nails and do gel stuff and just make myself feel better yeah i don't know something's gotta help i know people say time and of course duh but like i don't know just like a deep sadness I really need to do something about that because it just feels so freaking horrible. Uh, Alright, I'll see you soon. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, and I didn't get the results of that ultrasound. I don't know whether I said that. But like, it's a bit slow. And I didn't get them. So, I'll try again another day. Bye. <laughs>